All right. Hope all is well. Hope everyone. I hope you are doing all right. So uh, I was looking at your problems that you gave. I was waiting to see um, if you had other problems that you were talking about. I know you said that in your email, um, but I didn't get a response from you yet. So at least I'll send you these. I saw that you mentioned number three, 10 and 12, but number three, I looked in math lab and saw that you got right. So I'm assuming that you got that one correct and you're good with it. Uh, if not, just let me know. But we'll, for, we'll first start off with number 10. And they give us the mean to be 50. Standard deviation is 7. And we're dealing with the 86th percentile. And I'm just writing that for short. I already know that you know what it is. And we want the variable. We want the x value that corresponds to the 86th percentile. So what we need to do, and, and I'll say this as well. Uh, looking at number 12 and number 10, too, but especially number 12, I see that all of your answers are close, but I think where you went wrong is in your rounding. And I'm not sure in this one, but I most definitely saw that that was the case in 12, but I saw this real close in this one, so I'm assuming it's the same thing. So let's look at the chart, Z-score chart, and we want to get as close to 0.86 as possible, and I didn't write this down. Let me go back to the notes. And I think you know this part because you got as far as you got. We need to go 86% is 0.86. So we need to find this value in the chart. So we need to get as close to 0.86 as possible. And so when we go to our chart, we're talking about in here. We need to figure out the closest to 0.86 inside the chart and then find the corresponding Z value. All right, so we see right here, 0.8599 is the closest value to 0.86. And we see that corresponds to 1.08. All right, so that's the z-score that we're looking for. The z-score that corresponds the value that we found in the chart was 0.8599, and the z-score that corresponds to that is 1.08. All right. So now we're going to use the z-score formula and manipulate it a little. Remember, the z-score formula is x equal to x, I mean, x z equal to x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Well, if I take that and solve it for x, that's going to be x equal to uh, the mean plus the z-score times the standard deviation. You know, basically I just took this and solved it. Solved it for x. And that's how we get this. From there, we take the values that we have. The mean was 50. The z-score we just found is 1.08. And then the standard deviation is 7. We can throw all that in the calculator at one time or do it in pieces 1.08 times seven is 7.56, and then add those together. That's 57.56, so that's your answer right there. And let me confirm in math lab, that was the answer that people were looking for. Yep, and so you were close, you, you were, you answered 56.02. So I'm assuming you got something close, but you may not have rounded or chosen the value that was closest. But uh, but it shows that you, you you understood the process though. So that's what was going on there. And similarly in number 12, it seemed that you had the process down pat, just that your rounding was off a little. So let's look at it and take a picture of it. All right, here we go. So number 12, we have a mean of 20. And standard deviation of 0 0.6, 0 0.06. All right, let me sure I got the problem right still while the manufacturer with the mean lens of 20, because of the variability of manufacturing, it lens to the rods are approximately normally distributed. Standard deviation point zero six. Okay, the upper portion of rods has a length less than point nineteen nine. So for A, we're looking at less than nineteen nine. 
All right. So Z score going to be 19.9 minus 20.06. And I saw you working the email. So I know you know this process, but I'm just walking through it just in case anybody else were to view it. Maybe. Or you may want to share it. I don't know. But I see negative 1.66 all the way repeated. So when you round this, it's going to be negative 1.67, not negative 1.66. I think in your email, when you go back, you may have did 1.66. Yeah, uh, okay, you didn't do that one in your email. Okay, but it was the one 2.16 that you did that. Anyway, so negative 1.67. So let's now go to the chart, take this value, and then go to the chart. All right, so we have negative 1.6, and we have seven right here. So that should be 0 0.0475. So 0 0.0475, let's see what's going on. Yep, so 0 0.0475. You answered 0 0.1446. Um, but yeah, 0 0.0475. Even another answer they would have accepted was 0 0.0478. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do that. So let's look at the next one. E, they give us 1987. Between you no know, shorter than 1987, longer than 2013. All right. So from what I saw in your work, um, you had the process correct. You converted to a z-score just like we did with that one up there. It is 19.87 minus 20 divided by 0 0.06. And so here, when you convert to z-score, it's negative 2.16, you know, repeated. So that's where I was saying that your rounding should be negative 2.17. So you round to two, two decimal places. And then you do the same thing for the longer side. 20.13 minus 20 divided by 0 0.06. And that gave you the positive representation of it. So that should have been positive 2.17. So like I said, your process was uh, correct, but you rounded it and you just said 2.16 and should be 2.17. All right, so that Z-score, that Z-score over that chart value. And that chart will give us 0 0.0150. And this one should give us 0 0.9850. And then, of course, you subtract that from one, because you were talking about because we we're talking about greater than, and that would give us the same thing that we had for this side. And then, like you said, you add them together, or multiply by two, whichever way. Yep. So. That's your answer. So once again, your processes that I saw were correct, but your rounding was off. All right. And then in the last one, for D, because you had C correct, 
This is order comes to 10,000 rods. 10,000 rods. How many rods should the plant manager expect to manufacture in order for rods to be between 1990? All right. So we need to convert both of these to Z scores. Talk about between those two values. So 19.9 minus 20 divided by 0 0.06. That's going to be negative 1.67. And 20.1 minus 20 divided by 0 0.06. 1.67. Go to your charts. One point six seven is nine five. Oh, yep, nine five two five. Nine five two five. Negative one point six seven. All right. So now we want to know between. So if we're doing between, we're going to subtract these two values from each other, these two chart values. Point zero point nine zero five. Now that's not your answer. That's going to help us find the answer. <clears throat> All right. So we want to find the number of rods that manage this respect. So in order for us to get 10,000 rods within that um, that frame of 19.9 centimeters and 20.1 centimeters, we would actually, if we just do it, just go ahead and do, you know, cut to the chase as to what we would do, we'd take 10,000 and divide it by 0 0.905. And that should be 10,000. That's going to be 11.049.72. And they said they don't get right down all numbers 19.9, 20.1. So I'm getting 11.050. Let's see what map that is. Yep, that's one of the answers that we really accept. Okay, cool. And so they say round to the nearest whole number. So uh, 11,050 is what this will round off to be. All right. So those are your um, the problems that you sent me. If you have any more, let me know. Um, sorry for the delay. Uh, I had some stuff that prevented you from sending it last night. But uh, what really was getting you was the rounding. Uh, other than that, your processes were correct. All right. Have a good one. Um, okay.